Uh, uh, first off, Daniel, gracias por tu tiempo. Thank you for your time. Eh, eh, yo mismo, yo me, Luca, muchas personas aman a Luca, en criticólogos, todos los fanáticos también la amo. So, so que, uh, congratulations on the film, and it's beautiful, the story is beautiful. When, you know, I think the first question has to be about recreating La Riviera. And, and, and I want to ask, how much is it just, you know, uh, you know picture by picture uh, replica, or how much is it just something uh, artistic or personal? I think with, oh, first of all, thanks for having me and I'm happy to be here. E, e, so I think first off, with creating the Italian Riviera, it's, it's an art form. So you don't want to copy. You could just take a picture. You could just film live action. But with animation or with all art, you change a little, you exaggerate, you fix your compositions. And so we get inspiration from a specific place and we could combine a lot of it and and you have to do your homework otherwise somebody in Italy is going to know <laughs> if you did if you cheated <laughs> if you made it up um I want to talk about the characters and the characters are so good and, and Lucas and Alberto is, are, are so unique and and then their stories obviously you know going from sea monsters to this, to the real life um how did that come about how, you know what what point did they gave you coming into the story uh, with the script and and you know I know sometimes they don't want to give everything away so how did those two characters came about uh you know and the balancing within real life and 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 the sea monster's life well there's a technical side and the metaphorical side because being sea monsters and nobody can know that you're a sea monster that's that's getting out of your comfort zone and also being comfortable in your own skin You want to, you, it, it takes us back. We were forced to go back to our childhood when we're vulnerable and we're a little scared to be ourselves. And so there's that. That helps us decide how we're going to make the characters develop their personalities because we have to get very specific. Enrico thinks of the grand vision of how the story is going to go. Animators, we go into the scenes. How are they going to, drink the cup of water because everyone's going to drink it differently but how does this one character do it and it's a whole process how much information do you get when you're going into doing your side of the project again it just i know pixar specifically it, they're so perfectionistic about everything and they want to make sure that everything is done in a specific way so You know, and, and, I, and something that I love about Pixar is they, 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 they tend to, you know, give a lot of space into making sure that the, whatever we're trying to recreate is as, as, you know, as real as possible, but at the same time having that like, magical touch that they give, they, they give them. How much do you know, you know, do you know of, of the story of the script when you're coming into the, 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 the animation process? We know all of the story because we have to be on the same page and we have to work with the progression of the story. If the director tells me to make Luca excited right now, I can't make him more excited than he is at the end of the film. So we have to know what other animators are doing and we talk to each other a lot and it's very collaborative, very back and forth because sometimes we don't do it perfectly the right way the first time. So we, we go back and forth and through just sweat and tears, we make it happen. I think that brought me to my, my, my next question is, what is what, what do you find the most challenging taking into consideration that you studied yourself? This is a collaborative process. When it comes to animation, this is a collaborative process. And, and what do you find, what do animators find that's going to be the most, you know, most tough thing to manage? It's, this is a very important question. Because it's very tough when you first become an artist, an animator, because you have to change the way you think. When somebody, say we're at a table with other animators and we're thinking of ideas of like the next movie. And one animator says, hey, I got the next idea. It's going to be um, cats in space. <laughs> My responsibility as an artist cannot be to say that is the worst idea I ever heard in my life. I have to think. If this is the idea we were forced to make, how can I make it even better? 
what how what can I add to it? I don't want to take it down and I don't want to just make it the same. How do I add to it? Because they're taking a chance telling their ideas. It's very vulnerable, very vulnerable thing to speak your mind. And if I do that, I know when it comes time for me to tell my ideas, my peers and my fellow artists, they're going to have my back. I want to end this interview with a question that I think is very, somewhat personal, but did you do it? Did you, when you finished the project, did you identify with any of the characters or the story in any way whatsoever? Again, it's so beautiful and it's, you know, it started out friendship. Did, did you in any way identify with the characters or the story? I, I like Alberto. I like Alberto and personally, and it's because Alberto puts up a mask. Like he, he says everything's fine and he's very confident, but he's overcompensating, right? He's overcompensating because he, um, he, he doesn't have his parents and he doesn't have all the answers, but he pretends he does. And that was very relatable to me. Again, thank you, Daniel. Thank you for your time. And, and again, awesome job. Obviously, Pixar is Pixar. So awesome job on, on, the, on, the, on the movie. I absolutely love it. Everybody, everyone in Critical Oils loved it. The whole fan, fan base loved it. We all talked about it. Oh, we spent like an hour talking about it. So again, thank you for your time. El placer es mío. Es mío. Gracias.